Mm -hmm. Time now for our first midday forum. Joining us is Amber Pankinen. Did yes, I get right? You got it. Okay, perfect. You are a registered dietitian and culinary student. That's so correct. you know your stuff when it <laughs> comes to National Nutrition Month. Yes. Can you tell us about National Nutrition Month? Sure. So National Nutrition Month is actually a campaign that was started by the Academy okay. of Nutrition and Dietetics. This started back in the 70s as a week-long celebration, and now it's a month-long celebration. Do you know why they think it's important to have a month now instead of just a week? <laughs> well, you know, we should be celebrating all year long. That's true. Very true. <laughs> but March is a great time of year with spring coming in and people just yeah. wanting to eat fresher and, and cook with fresh ingredients. Yes. So I think it's a great time. Yeah. And people may be falling off their New Year's resolution. So <laughs> right. hop on it. Steve Oxer with Good Life Fitness always says maybe by mid-February. So it's time to get back great on point. in March. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this year the theme is eat right bite by bite. That's right. I, it's a mouthful, right? Yes. I had, a, I had a look at the paper word for word so I didn't mess it up. So what does this mean, the theme? Sure, you know, I think it just means, you know, taking every meal, every snack, every beverage as an opportunity to nourish yourself. So choosing those nutrient-rich foods that we know provide protein, fiber, and those good fats, you know, those kind of foods are really going to nourish our body. Yeah, so how can people uh, kind of celebrate this month? Besides maybe eating healthy, what kind of advice would you give them to kind of start off with? Right, I would suggest maybe experimenting with some different cooking methods, you know, especially now as a culinary student, I yeah. love cooking and experimenting with cooking healthy food and making it taste delicious. So, you know, once it starts to get warmer, experiment with that grill outside. Mm, grilled vegetables are exactly, so good. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, it gives it such a good mm -hmm. flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, you can also roast, you can bake at home too. Mm -hmm. Make your own salad dressings at home. That's another way yeah. that you can what about, you save on calories. What about air fryers? Do you think those are good? I love my air fryer. Okay. Yes, absolutely. I just made some air fryer wings oh, uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, they're, it's amazing. The only drawback with the air fryer is you can only cook so much at one time, yes. but still and a great way to cook. What about pressure cooker? I love my pressure cooker. Okay, yes. so you have both. <laughs> I wouldn't guess anything less yes. as a culinary yes. student. Yes, I love my Instant Pot, and mm -hmm. you know you can do so many things. I just made a rice pudding actually with my Instant Pot as a breakfast cereal. You know, so that's another way you can incorporate some good nutrition. Okay, and how can people learn more about National Nutrition Month? National <laughs> Nutrition Month. I'm Wanted to make sure and get that right. Sure. Where can they go or what can they do? You can visit eatright.org. Our site here in Nebraska is eatrightnebraska.org. Okay. If you want to connect with me, I'm RD Amber on Instagram and Twitter. Already Amber. Okay, thank you so much for being thank here you. today, and I hope people get out there and celebrate <laughs> it properly. Yes. Grilled vegetables, the way to go. Sounds good. <laughs> thank you, Amber. You're welcome.